Welcome, welcome to week number five of the After Hours Gaming League, season four of StarCraft 2. Hope you guys are having a good day, wherever you may be. And if you're joining us live, welcome. Thank you for watching our stream. Sub, sub, this is Variance. Hopefully we're going to be giving you some really good matches today. Uh, we are playing, IBMB is playing Qualcomm. We are both 2-2. Two and two. Uh, Don't mind the graphic, we are going to play, be playing out of order today. We will be playing match number 3 first. And then, uh, then we'll try to play the other ones in order. The best we can. So, we will be setting up soon. And for those of you who are joining, uh, are watching our VODs, uh, thanks for uh, st supporting my YouTube page. Uh, hope you are enjoying the graphics, the overlays, spend a lot of time working on those things. Uh, probably we should be spending more time practicing, but oh well. So yeah, today we are playing against Qualcomm, IBM B is. Um, we are, what I can say about this team is, let me see, I have my notes somewhere. But uh, start off I can say they are also 2 and 2. Uh, we have we have actually taken different roads to get here. Um, for example, we won our first two games, and then we went ahead um, and uh, promptly <laughs> lost our next two. <laughs> Qualcomm has actually alternated between wins and losses. Their losses only being against, I uh, believe, Microsoft. Uh, again, let me look at my notes. Uh, so they beat Epic B Team. Then they lost against Bungie in a five game loss. Then they beat Groupon 3 1. Uh, and then they lost against Microsoft A uh, in three games. Um, their ace player is Boba Loves the Raccoon. Their ace player, Diamond Zerg. Um, and then our team is should be matched fairly even. We have we don't have as many diamond players as they do, but uh, we actually have a couple of former uh, diamond players or master players. So, whom are will be playing today? So, and then they will counter with their lineup. Uh, I think they're mostly, yeah, they have three diamond players on Qualcomm and a couple of platinum players. Uh, most of the platinum players are going to be playing one, two, and three today. And then they're going to be putting out Leaf, who is their di uh, Protoss, diamond Protoss. So this should be a very, okay, we're starting. We're starting. Kill the music. And we are playing on Polar Knight. Game number three is playing out of order. So if you're watching on the VOD, this is actually played first uh, in real time. But this will count. So it's Argentar versus Oh Hello there. It shows as a Silver Zerg, but um, he's actually he's actually Platinum. He's probably smurfing. So, okay. And spawning in an upper left, we have, well, upper-ish, we have Zerg, the blue Zerg from I Team IBM, Argent Tower. And then spawning in the lower position, this position, is Hello, hello there from Team Qualcomm. I wonder if I can fix the colors a little bit. Mm. Oh well, I guess I can't figure that out. Oh well. So down here, someone says, cool. So this is a ZVZ match. Uh, we have a fairly open, uh, wide open natural here. So maybe you can, after the initial pressure, you can actually see some, um, maybe some banelings. Speedling banelings might be good in this map because it's a pretty wide open uh, uh, choke point here at the natural. So, so we'll see if that um, uh, comes to be. And it looks like we see a pull first from Argent Tower, and then maybe uh, 
Oh, hello there. Is actually saving up some uh, some minerals and probably going maybe going to expand first. I guess it will see in a moment. It's actually pull first, but it's very very early pull as you can see. This is like a ten pull. So, oh hello there, sees it. He puts down his pull, so he can and he actually gets his gas. So, but we're gonna see some early zerglings here from uh, from Argent Tower. Just going to, the droning, <laughs> the droning, <laughs> the scouting drone here. It's going to be poking around to see what he can find. Right. So, okay. Let's see if I can get somebody else on this call. Hello, Brad. Hello, Varian. How are things? I am good. I realize it's really, really quiet here. So, and then I think who, who better to enjoy this, uh, this ZVZ match with is uh, than you, right? Ah, yes, of course. Well, this is a very interesting open. I think it looks like Eric did a 9 pool, 10 mm -hmm. pool. Mm -hmm. And he's got six wings on, across the map and another two that are on their way. Let's and see. it looks like there are six that are being made right now. So this, I don't think this is going to do too much. No, nope. if the micro is good from Oh Hello there, he should be fine. In fact, his Zerglings just oh, yeah. popped out. Yep. Just curious to and see. Er Argon just needs to make sure that he doesn't get surrounded. Mm -hmm. Just pick off whatever he can. He can't go deep into the drone line. Otherwise, he's just going to lose everything. Oh, and the spine is done. Oh, so he's and the spine's to, done. Yeah. yeah. So he can only harass And the queen's going to pop out in a little bit, too. Yeah. So he's going to have to pull out pretty soon. Of course, uh, Ar Argent Tower has actually expanded uh, behind this. With how many yep. drones behind him? Well, nine, nine drones. All right. Yeah, no, as Akira has pointed out, no uh, no units lost. Very, very good micro. And he's just going to shoo him away with droves. <laughs> That's an out. interesting choice. He's yeah, got uh, all these zerglings. <laughs> ten, ten wings just sitting here not doing anything. <laughs> you guys do it. I, we don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, too lazy. <laughs> Neither side has speed on the way yet. I guess nobody's really used gas. No. Well, you know, this is actually kind of working. Oh, hello there. It's starting to float a little bit, ever so slightly. That's a lot for early game to be floating 500, 600. Oh, now 600. Wait, yeah. Yeah, he's just concentrated on He's expanding too. Oh, hello is also planning to expand. And, then, you know, yep. Argent Tower's links are just going to run back home. Finally I think, if nothing else, this just really threw Oh, hello there off his game because mm -hmm. I. I don't really play ZVZ, obviously, but uh, I can't imagine it's very common to get ten pool. Well, it depends on what league you're in, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but especially at the uh, slightly higher leagues. Argentile with the drone and Expo lead, but he will have gas late. So speed's going to go first for our Qualcomm Zerg. Um, did, did the guys forget to ch uh, choose like red and blue when they started? Because... No, they intentionally pick blue and purple. Uh, I think Qualcomm typically picks blue purple. as well. Ah, uh, okay. So that's the, uh, that's the compromise, I guess. Yeah, we told them to take purple because IBM's always blue. Oh, well, that's that's nice of them. Yeah. I need to mute that other stream because that's getting very distracting. Do I have a stream on? No, no, no. I'm. Oh, okay. There's a. Dota Championship or Dota Invitational going oh, on there. Oh, you're, yeah, you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you all are, the video games at the same time. I was gonna say you're the ultimate multitasker. You should be really good at StarCraft. <laughs> no, see, I really only pay attention to one thing. Ignore everything else. Oh, okay. This push with the wings is not gonna work very well because we got four Bane wings about to pop up. And he doesn't have any. He doesn't have any Bane wing nests until about ten seconds. Yeah, he'll, maybe he'll morph it. That's why he's sitting on here. So yeah. it's all about micro. Oh, there we go. Oh, That's, yep. Eric sees one. Oh, I just lose a bane link. Good oh, trade there. Oh, that was a waste of a bane link. It's okay. It's just one. That's a lot of queen. A lot of stuff. He needs to get some uh, spine crawlers up. Here we go. Defense. Not enough bane links, I think, for Eric. For Argentire. Oh, that's close. Oh boy. Oh, oh good juke. Oh, the yo, jukes. Yo, Splitting the drones, like, minimizing the damage. Not too that bad. That wasn't Looks, that bad. 
Let's see what is produced after that. Everyone's making lings. Speed is still like about 60 seconds away, so Eric has gonna. I mean, sorry, Argentina is gonna have to, you know, has to deal with this pressure without speed. That's gonna be a little bit hard. He might lose yep. his queen if there's, yeah. Could be chewed on here. Watch out. Here comes the baneling oh. hit. Good baneling hit oh. by Falcom. That's a lot. He's losing thrones. Yeah. He just went from being down by a little bit to being down by like 500 resource. But that is a lot of wings coming out. There's more banelings to support that. He's going to be able to pick off these morphing banelings. Wow. That speed. Pretty big. <laughs> Everyone's morphing banelings next to each other. Big pain wing party. Zoom out a little bit. It's going to be hurling each other, banelings against each other, huh? At each other. Oh. Better watch out for those baneling hits. Okay. It's good defense there. Picked up that baneling. Still a oh, lot that's... of lings streaming across the map at this point. Everybody's fast at this point in time. Yeah. It actually looks like. That should be most of it. Um, he can actually move the spine crawler down to his expo, I think. Now might be a little unsafe, but everyone's well. Argent Tower is just trying to stay alive. Yeah, needs to keep this base up. Yeah. Come some more banelings rolling in. Let's see if those baneling hits are any good. Should be able to pick them off to kind of look. I don't know, watch out. Oh, that's uh, a good hit. Oh, it just ran everything into it. Uh, that's not a good hit. I mean, sorry, that's not a good uh, trade for Argent Tower. He's going to probably lose his base. Uh, not yet. Nope. It's getting pretty low. This next wave of wings might be able to clean it up. That queen is going to go down. Mm -hmm, he's going to go down. He's... Probably defend here. Yep, he's going to defend here. Lings are still uh, streaming across the map, actually. Some there is about a 700 resource loss difference right now oh. in favor of the Qualcomm, Qualcomm player. Yeah. It's all about the hits here. The micro is good. This should be able to. He should be able to defend because he's just uh, some more bailings being morphed by, uh, in the in the back of the line. The right there. Ground, yep. There now he's pushing him to the front lines. Ready right for maybe another push. Micro, Argent Tower, Micro! Micro, like your life depends on it because it does. Yes, it does. Oh, he's like, I'm not gonna. Oh, that's a little bit better. Oh, he loses his natural. He loses the natural. Throne this is, is going about to be very hard. Now, now, obviously, Paul comes ahead, but he's just pushing it. And now he goes back. Okay. He's, think he's thinking I took out the hatch, so I should be ahead. He's not mining. He's going to take a macro hatch. So after all of that, uh, Qualcomm <laughs> is a little bit ahead. Argent Tower is like, screw it, I am going in. Small flotilla of uh, overlords floating back from Argent's base. Yeah, he can't push up here, though. Uh, it looks like he just popped six Bane Wings, seven Bane Wings, something like that. Which would require some pretty impressive uh, hits on Argon's part to be actually be successful. And oh hello, oh hello there! Is has already starts his uh, roach switch. I mean, uh, tech switch to roaches. Yep, roach horn just about to finish up here. Yep, there it goes. He's really low on drones. That's the only thing um, going against uh, uh, in favor of uh, Ar Argentar, even though he has an expansion. Uh, oh hello there! He does. He's not using. It. He's just using it for the larva right now. Yeah. He has no intention, it looks like. Okay, now he's droning. Yeah. Ever so slightly. Lair going down. Ooh, Lair going down for Argent Tower. This is really weird. After all of that pressure, and now... He's just going to stop and drone up. He's just going to stop and drone up. Should be able to pick up this Overlord. Everyone's trying to pick up each other's Overlords. Eye for an eye. <laughs> Roaches are starting to be uh, produced by Oh Hello there, so there should be a push very soon. Arjun's uh, Arjun Tower is a Ling and Bane Ling. Not going to do so well against Roaches. 
Unless they get a massive surround. Mm -hmm. But that's not probably not going to happen. The worker count is still surprisingly even. Luckily, like it's yeah, completely it even right now. 30, 31 with Arjun making more drones. He's going to see this push. He's just going to probably make roaches after, yeah, when he yep, sees this push. There comes his roaches. Moves his spine to his natural. He's not going to be able to get there in time before okay, before the links arrive, but that's okay. Oh, okay, here it comes. One good hit. And he took out a lot of those um, banelings. Only two left. Don't get pick your baneling picked off. Oh, he's going to try to get him, picked, off. picked off. Reinforcing. This could be really, really close. Reinforcing roaches. There goes the spine. Gold goes the queen. Wait for the, you know. And then depending on how he micros, actually he's yeah he's gonna have nine roaches pop up, but he's gonna probably lose these initial three. No, nope, they're sticking up actually. This is a very weird game. Very weird game. Meanwhile, the... 31, 31 drones. <laughs> Everyone's making roaches. Plus one almost. Uh, plus one missile attacks almost done for. Argent Tower. Ooh. Clearly reconstitution, roach speed, very, very good. Very, very important in this matchup, especially when you're going roach roach. You'll be able to, as I found out in one of my matches, be able to catch up to uh, fleeing uh, uh, enemy roaches. You can actually catch up with roaches without speed and just pick them off for free. So basically, once you commit without roach speed, you are committed. There's no running back. No. And right now it looks like, well, the worker supply is still very, basically very identical. Identical, yeah. Oh. And after, yeah, like like we like we mentioned, after all of that uh, fancy schmancy heart uh, heart attack stuff happening in the beginning, we're just back to even game. <laughs> yep, but both of them have hydrodens on the way. Um, looks like the uh, oh jeez, the Zerg player. Oh, hello there. Mm -hmm. That's very easy to forget. Uh, he's a couple of seconds ahead on pretty much everything. It seems like. He's got the bigger army, he's got... I don't think he has upgrades, though. I think that's where Argent is actually ahead. Yeah, See, upgrade Argent has upgrades. Plus one uh, missile attack, yeah. And he's yep. getting plus two missile attack. It's going to be a, yeah, it's going to be a, a factor very, very soon. A third going down for Argent Tower? Yeah. I thought, I thought oh, hello there, won't try to take that. Because I remember seeing him trying to morph a, uh, a drone over here in the extractor. Oh, well, that's very strange. Oh, hello there, has seen that. A third. Uh, third going down, yep. so... And he is going that's... just going to make army. He's just going to forget it. He's just going to try to do a timing right here. More for a whole bunch of banelings. He's just going to go for it. Arjun's, like it. Arjun's overlords are okay position. Could be a little bit better. But he's going to see it when it oh, pushes wow. up this right here. He's going to see it right now. Arjun went up by 10 drones over, so this is actually kind of bad for him that yep. there's be a push right here. He's down by 8. Yeah, he doesn't have any hydras out, and he's down by 8. Roaches right now. He's got a couple of hydras on the way, but he's probably going to have to sack this third. Might be best just to cancel it right now, because otherwise it's going to get taken anyways. He's, I think he's going to go with. Uh, he's going to try to keep it. He hasn't canceled it yet. Oh. Has not canceled it. Yep. Yeah. And here comes the army. Right on cue. Huh. So he gets it. It's a little bit of larva, I guess. I'm not sure. <laughs> he's just even killing it with the wings. He's not even pushing anything else. He's just, he's just waiting for the good, like, a concave or something. Well, yep. Was... Yep. So, American oh, is just trying to build up and back, get back into this. The income is actually favoring Oh Hello there, somehow. Not by much, but by a little bit. Probably over droning. This is a good oh. concave. Upgrade should be good, so. Oh, those vein rings. Wow. Upgrades are good. See there, right there. That What we just saw is like uh, the, the upgrades favoring uh, Argent Tower, and then it showed right there. Could, should have been a little bit more even fight. Zero, zero roaches against. Whoa! One, uh, two, one roaches. Oh, but the reinforcements. Yep. You gotta be careful right here. Greatly outnumbered, out concave. It's gonna kill a lot, but the reinforcements are coming. But the hydras are stuck in the front. He's gonna try to fight here, but he he's out he's outnumbered right here. Maybe he should just run all the way back to his base and just try to. Get no, actually, I think he's okay here. 
so reinforcements no. are still streaming, but he's definitely got more it right yeah. here than upgrade difference. Wow, what a difference that made. Yeah. Two that one is huge. Should not two have one been... over zero zero. Yeah, should not have been that close if you just looked at just number wise, but I mean that was just ridiculous. If the upgrades were even, I mean it would have been an oh hello uh, there's favor. Yeah, no, they uh that that was a huge fight because gonna... the uh, okay. unit lost actually just flipped. When is he gonna realize that he doesn't have any upgrades? Oh well, I guess. When he... uh, does he even have any? Oh, he Evo doesn't chambers? have any Evo chambers. Yeah, he's not yeah. gonna he's not gonna get any upgrades. Uh, he's yeah you know, started anytime soon, obviously, because he doesn't have, as a um, as a Zed has pointed out, there are no Evo chambers for our our Qualcomm Zerg, and then there's an expansion going on, Ninja expansion going on here up here in the uh, ten o'clock position. That, oh, that, Argon's uh, going for Argenza, investors. Yeah. <laughs> and Argenza he loves his investors. And, he's, and, he sees, and he sees the expansion going down. Very bad luck for a Qualcomm Zerg. <laughs> Hell, hello. <laughs> you know what Ar Argon's thinking, right? Oh, hello there. <laughs> yeah, and he's just double expanding right now. Uh, wow, ballsy. Yeah, it's pretty ballsy, but okay, uh, Roach he's a, he is ahead right now. Roach count, very good. Army count, a little bit in favor of Qualcomm, but no, uh, no upgrades. So, and we are producing, we are producing units at this point, and more, and even more uh, upgrades for our Argent Tower. Yeah, this is very, very bad for Qualcomm. He's going to be two-two and have fast hydras in uh, yeah. less than a minute. Of course, Qualcomm already has uh, fast hydras, fully upgraded hydras in terms of uh, range and speed, but. I mean these upgrades. They don't lie. Yep. And then of course that little scouting link just just got shot in the face, alerting to his buddies back home that uh, the army is on the move. Just... Oh, he actually probably didn't want to engage that roach because that roach is just there to scout. Yeah. And that just showed that he needs to be ready to defend his third, which has two spines here and he's got his entire army. And it, since this third is up and running and fully saturated, his income just skyrocketed compared. Compared to hello there, these banelings are rolling half in. Half the gen on lands on the way, so another 30 seconds, and investors will be out. And then after that, it is going to be very, very bad for Qualcomm. So he it's... sees two spines, he backs off. These banelings think they're going to go into the natural instead. They might be able to pick off some. Nope. No, nope. they're okay. cut out. But they uh, pull but the army out of position. Trade. Yeah. Be able to pick he up is going to get the base, but that's okay. He has a uh, backup one that he's not scouted yet. Yep. Yeah. And quote and uh, hello there still doesn't have a third. No. So he's. I mean, he's still in it, but he's Army. falling behind. I think. Armies are even. Tech is ahead. I mean, tech. IBM Tech is ahead. IBM Zerk has investors. Uh, upgrades ahead. Man, this is not looking good. Just a couple of good fungals and it'll be GG. Lights out. Well, heck, Here we go! If, uh, they oh. kill all those overlords, that'll be kind of amusing too. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. They're really far forward and they're not fast overlords either. They maybe, can't run away. Maybe they're the world's slowest drop. <laughs> world's slowest <laughs> drop. Slowest yeah. drop. Uh, cue the Jaws music. And we got a spire coming down. He's going to try and tech switch, but that might, that's pretty risky. I don't know that he's going to be able to pull that off. Well, all these hydras <clears> already <throat> on the map, right? What's the point? Yeah. And he has, he looks like he's already throwing down spore crawlers. I don't know if he saw that spire or not, but no, he has not seen the spire, but he knows something's up because he's, he popped, he's been, yeah, he's got spores coming down at least at his third. Arjun's army is a little bit out of position, but I guess if their army is coming back, that's fine. No. Hive already going down for Arjun Tower. He's killed enough overlords to have actually supply blocked a little there. Yeah. So, and he hasn't started any overlords to replace those that he just lost yet. Uh, no, he already had two in the way. There, he's on supply block oh, already. Okay. But uh, Arjun is far ahead in upgrades still. Any upgrades? None. Is that 2 2? Oh, the third just finished for hello there. Finally, the and third's the finished. The mutas are starting to come out. Oh, he's going to be very, very sad if like ultras come out when he only has mutas. 
Well, so, hell, even right now, I think uh, Argon can just kind of push because with this huge upgrade advantage, you can't exactly fly mutas into hydras. And the hydra, well, the mutas, I'm guessing, are going to go and try and just kill drones because they can't really do anything else, and the drones aren't terribly protected right now. Mm -hmm be interesting to see if he goes for more than this initial set of six yeah. hydras or if he Here just leaves it games. at this. Probably should pull his drones to save some. Starts the spore pretty much immediately. And he's just gonna go for the counter push. A couple of yeah. fungals, there's the fungals. And these upgrade uh, so, oh, advantages much is just gonna roll over everything. Yeah. Fungals and Bungles and upgrades, all you need. Yeah, this should clean up the yeah, army and this should be GG. Great! Wow. IBM take game, game 3 <laughs> in Leeds 1 0. <laughs> in a best of 5. Game number 1 is next? I guess very so. Well, very well fought by <laughs> our IBM Zerg. He was in a lot of trouble, he was in big trouble in the beginning. But he fought yep. back, held on, had the huge upgrade lead. I guess that's the only down for for oh, oh hello there. His upgrades were non-existent. Absolutely. Yeah, if he had had upgrades, then I mean, he would have probably taken that Matt, that uh, his first big push in with the roaches. Yeah. And that would have really changed the game. Because, I mean, I hello there came out of that wing bling battle, feeling okay. Yeah. And he pushed in with roaches and just kind of got stalled out. And then Argon got his upgrades up and was able to push back and get his macro rolling. 